weather. You, you could not beat this kind of weather. Of course, we want the rain, uh, but for individual events, yeah, this weather cannot be beaten. Just be on the lookout because, of course, there are more motorcycles. And then on top of that, I don't know about you guys, you see some of the fall foliage and you kind of keep looking off towards the side because it's just beautiful, right? Now it's a little less, more dull. This year is not as bright, but we'll still take it. I want to show you temperature trends for this evening across northwest Arkansas. We're just now trying to get out of those 80s. We've got some 70s for the next few hours. By 8 o'clock, we'll be back in the 60s. We'll cool off pretty decently overnight tonight because that north wind's starting to pick up. That north wind is coming into both northwest Arkansas and the River Valley as we speak, uh, but it's going to intensify later tonight and, and into tomorrow. I mean, it's not going to get super breezy, but it is getting stronger and that will be just enough to help drop temperatures the next couple of days. In the River Valley this evening, we've got 80s right now. We are solidly in those 80s until about 7, and then we'll start to cool down into some 70s later this evening, and eventually 60s and 50s overnight tonight. But we are tracking two cold fronts. Officially, the cold front is just now right over Fort Smith and Greenwood and headed south in Dakota right now. Those north winds starting to come in, but we're not getting the, quite the cool air just yet. We're a little bit cooler in northwest. In Fort Smith, to Bacola, and to Clarksville, we're, we're just a little still on the warm side. We're going to have to wait towards this cold front to really drop temperatures, but this thing's going to come in tomorrow afternoon, and that's going to help accelerate the winds, and we're talking about a beautiful, much cooler weekend. You know, it still gets kind of cool in the evenings, but some of our afternoons have been kind of toasty this week. But expect this weekend to have highs in the 70s and maybe sometimes the 60s, depending on where you live. So it's going to be a lot cooler. Tonight will be a touch cooler than we were even last night. We've got 40s north of the mountains, south of the mountains. We should mainly be in the 50s. Tomorrow we'll warm up. I think we're done with the 80s for the next couple of days in northwest. We'll probably still get to some 80s in the river valley with those north winds, but that's cooler than the 88 that we've been experiencing in Fort Smith this past, uh, this past afternoon. Let's talk about future casts. We're talking about a couple of little clouds here and there. Otherwise, we've got a lot of clear sky uh, for the next couple of days. Every once in a while, a passing cloud comes by, but still not enough to really do anything. We've got lots of sunshine in the forecast. That cold front passes on through, and you probably saw. Matt, what about that raindrop that you saw in future cast? There could be a cloud that produces a raindrop or two, but most likely they won't survive their trip all the way from the cloud to the ground because temperatures, uh, the dew point temperatures are just way too dry. Things are going to evaporate before they even hit the ground. Wish they could. That'd be nice. We need some rain, and we've got some rain next week. That's kind of the biggest thing to focus on, I think, as we push forward. Yeah, it's going to get cooler this weekend. It's going to feel beautiful this weekend, but sometimes on the chilly side, especially in the evenings. But finally, some rain is in the forecast Monday into Tuesday, just a little bit, and mainly north of I-40. Wednesday, and maybe an isolated shower. Better chances come in Thursday as this next cold front swings on through, and those chances kind of exist for much of the natural state and eastern Oklahoma. So we'll try to get a little bit of rain next week. Until then, the rain chances are super slim. We'll have a lot of sun through this weekend. But Erica, if you've been wanting to kind of get a little bit more fall weather in the afternoons, this weekend looks great. We've got 70s. Yeah, that's been the interesting part this past week, right? Is it's been pretty warm during the day and yeah. then cools off once that sun goes away. Sometimes 40 degrees wow. difference. Talk crazy? about a change, huh? A yeah, big change. All right, thanks, Matt. Yeah. Well, the International Balloon Fiesta is on.